Let's look at some more common errors. Uh, this time we're going to focus on runtime errors. Now a runtime error is where the syntax of the code is, is correct, but for some reason the program starts running and then it ends with an error. Okay, in contrast, a syntax error, the program never even starts. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, the first type of error, which is an import error. Uh, you'll, you'll see uh, in programs. I actually put this in the syntax error video by accident, but uh, hopefully uh, you'll forgive me. Uh, anyway, so let's, let's run this and just see what it does. Okay, so it basically clears the screen and then prints out the title. Now, we're, here we're using uh, an export external module called the OS module, and that lets us you know, interact with the operating system. So I have to, to use it, I have to actually import it first. So if I forget to import it okay, and run this, I'll get an error. Okay, So it says line 2. Again, really need to focus on this. It tells you insofar as is possible where the error is. Okay, So line 2, it says OS is not defined. So it has no idea what OS is. And that's because we forgot to import it, OS. Okay, so the reason we know it's a runtime error, not a syntax error, is if I put a line here, so program running, it will execute that line. So let me try that, and you'll see down here. So you see program running. So the program, everything's fine. There's no missing parentheses or missing uh, quotation marks. Um, you'll see it starts running the program, gets to line 4, has no idea what OS is, stops, we got an error. So we're going to put import OS back. And this would happen if, you know, in the previous example I'd given the previous video, uh, if this was spelled OSS.system, or if I this was misspelled. So if I run that, okay, so it's we got an attribute error in that case. So yeah, so we got this is a very very type common type of runtime error. But the key point I think I want to say here uh, is that it tells you where the problem is. Okay, so you don't need to ask questions all the time. You can just look at the error message, and Python's pretty good about telling you where the error is. Now it gets harder and harder as your programs become more complex, of course. Okay, the next type of common error is when a variable is not initialized. So we have variables like x, let's say x equals 5, y equals uh, 7, and we want to say z or z, depending where you're from, equals x plus y. And so I say print z. So let's run that program. Okay, very good. So 5 plus 7 is 12. So let's say, uh-oh, I forgot to I forgot to initialize this variable x. So at that point, x has no value. So if we run it, okay, we get an error. Notice it cleared the screen, printed that out, and then when it got to this line, line 8, so again, it tells you where the error is. It says name x is not defined. So it has no idea what x is. So we put x equals 5, and then it will run again. So before you use a variable, you need to define the variable. Again, very, very common. Okay, next. Um, let's say you have a variable, but you have, you're doing, it's the wrong type. Um, so variables have a type. We have uh, what's known as an integer. And if you're not sure what an integer is, uh, we also have floats, we have strings, we have booleans. If you're not sure what those things are, um, I have a video, I'll, I'll put it in the comments below. There is a video that will explain that to you, so check that out. But let's say I'm trying to, uh, yeah, let's say I've got name equals, let's say, Bob, and then We'll say, let's leave y equals 7. So let's say I'm trying to add these two together. Okay, so you can see clearly here, Bob is, is not a number. Um, so let me run that. Okay, so again, the program started running. It says type error. So the type of variable uh, is incorrect. So I'm trying to add a string and an integer, and it says must be string, not int. I wonder what happens if we switch those around. So why, why we'll put the int first. Okay. 
Okay. So similar error, but not quite the same. We got a type error, unsupported operand type for plus, because we're trying to plus, we're trying to add, I guess, uh, int and string. So I got an int and a string. So again, it tells you what the problem is. Just one, one quick thing. If you haven't watched that other video I just mentioned, if I do something like this, if I put name, uh, I put this in quotes, let's put that back to X. So if I say X in quotes, you'll see again, it must be string, not int. Okay. Um, putting something in quotation marks, even though to us as human beings, it looks like a number, it, to the computer it's quite different. Again, if you watch the video uh, I mentioned, you will understand uh, those concepts as well, uh, if you're not already familiar with them. Um, next one. This is where it's getting a little bit more complicated because the types of errors uh, you'll see uh, in specific types of programming, shall we say. Um, so uh, Python has something called a turtle module, which if you know anything about uh, logo, it's, it's basically a recreation of that. So let's say, oh, so I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to make a little turtle. Turtle, I'll say, I'm going to make a turtle called uh, Bob equals turtle, parentheses, and I need this in turtle. Dot. Again, don't worry about the, the code you don't understand. It's Someday you'll, you'll get to that eventually. Uh, so let me just run that and see what happens. Oh, so you see turtle is not defined. Okay, so this is, this is good. This is a, a runtime error as well. Um, I'm trying to create a new turtle. But I forgot to put, tell it where it's from. It's actually from that module. So let's run that again. OK, so the turtle module, it pops up a little turtle. Our turtle's name is Bob. OK, so I'm going to close that and let that stop running. And here's a common error you'll see is you forget the parentheses at the end. Okay, so if I run it, Actually, that is a logic error. So we'll, we'll get to that another time. Um, that is, a, it didn't, it didn't. The program didn't stop. Um, so that's a logic error, which I will get to in the next video in this series. Um, loop. So ah, that's what I want to say. So we'll go back to Bob equals turtle. Dot turtle. And then what I can do is I can I can change Bob's color by doing this. I say green. So if I run that, you see now the turtle has changed color to green. Okay, so there's an error that you'll see sometimes. Let's say I want forest green. Okay, the computer does not know every single color. There's a list of 200 some colors. If you Google uh, TK Enter Colors, uh, you, you can find that list. Uh, if I remember, I'll put it in the comments below as well. I'm going to run that. Oh, it does know what forest green is. Oh my gosh, it's pretty good. Um, I'll say dark forest green. Okay, there we go. So you can see now it's we got this big long error. Okay. So we look at the first line here, it says line eight. Okay, so I look in line eight. And down here it says the type of error is a turtle graphics error. It's called bad color string, dark forest green. So what it's saying here is it has no idea what dark forest green is. Okay, so I need to make it a color that the system does know. So that's something, like I said, if you're doing turtle graphics programming, you'll see that one uh, quite often. Okay. Uh, the next, yeah, we'll, yeah, so we'll leave that one at that. So uh, I'm going to delete that for now. And the last type of runtime error I wanted to talk about is using the wrong method with something. So let's say I have a list, and again, if you don't know what these things are. Uh, like I said, eventually you'll learn them. So let's say I have uh, Grant, I've got uh, Greg, uh, oops, Greg, and then I've got Bob. Okay. And if I say print names, okay, it should print them in the exact order. So then if I say, uh, what I can do is I can go print names dot sort and it'll sort them in alphabetical order. So let's run that. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, okay, I got it, sorry. 
that again, that also is a logic error. So names.sort, so I can sort the list, and then print names. So if I run that, okay, there we go. So we got the original list in the order I entered it. I sorted the list and then printed it, it comes out in alphabetical order. Okay, now, um, what will happen is let's say I actually made uh, a dictionary, which is a different type of structure. And I say Grant, his last name is Hart. And I say Greg, his last name is Norton. And I say Bob, his last name is Mold. Oops, not Bold. Bold. And if I print names, I'm going to take this part out. If I save that. Names, what did I do wrong? Ah, forgot the commas. Okay, let's try that again. So again, that was a syntax error you can see there. Line five, so I, I know something went wrong. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? Ah, total. If I'm going to make a dictionary, I'm going to use braces. Okay, so I've got a dictionary. Dictionary store data in a key value pair, so first name, last name, first name, last name, first name, last name. So now if I try to sort this, say print names, let's see what happens. Okay, so I've got an error in line eight, so it's telling me exactly where the problem is. And it's saying dictionary object has no attribute sort. Um, so if, you, if you've learned what a list is, you learn what a dictionary is, Lists are ordered and they can be sorted. So they're always in a certain order. Dictionaries are unordered and since they're unordered, you can't sort them. Although you can pull the keys out and, and sort them. Uh, but that's a, definitely a different lesson. I, I do have a dictionaries lesson as well. I do have a list lesson as well if you check out uh, some of my other tutorials uh, on YouTube. Anyway, so those are kind of the main types of errors that I see at least from my students uh, based on the things that we do. So hopefully you know, you'll get something out of that. And again, that was runtime errors, where the program starts, uh, but it ends with an error message. That's it.